Welcome, this is Simple Index 106, Processing Existing Files with Simple Index. This is a very short class that goes over some of the advanced settings for importing uh, TIFF images and PDF files. Um, Simple Index has several different uh, very advanced options for how to handle uh, multi-page TIFF and PDF files when it's importing. and here we have in the input options we have the basic options here but if we click the advanced tab we see that there is a lot more to importing files than just uh, the keep originals and process subfolders options so let's go over some of these in detail so we've seen keep originals before Process subfolders will obviously let you um, process all of the subfolders of your input folder automatically. And how it does this basically is it creates a new batch for each separate subfolder. So for every subfolder under your input folder, it creates a, a separate batch and runs through the whole batch process one after the other until all the subfolders have been processed. Now, the majority of these settings deal with how to deal with multi-page input files. And by default, the split multi-page input files option is checked. And the reason why is, let's, let's say in a typical digital copier scenario, you put a stack of documents in the feeder and you hit the scan button and it will scan to a multi-page TIFF or PDF file and store that out on your network somewhere. Now that folder is going to be your input folder in a typical job scenario where you're processing those files. But if you have barcodes or or OCR or other index values, if 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 there's multiple documents basically in that multi-page file, you have to split the multi-page file into single page files so that each page may be processed by the barcode or OCR process. Um, and so that's why we have split multi-page input files checked. If you uncheck that option, then your multi-page input files will not be split when they're being imported. And so each file in your simple index batch will actually be a full multi-page file. And you won't be able to do OCR on the individual pages or barcode recognition. But the advantage you get there is that you can index each multi-page file as a single file and you don't have to carry the index value forward through all the back pages. So it's a much more efficient way of indexing files that have already been separated into multi-page documents. When you're dealing with PDF files, PDF files have both a text layer and an image layer. And so depending on whether you're dealing with PDF files that have been generated by the Acrobat distiller or the Acrobat printer driver or whether you're dealing with PDF files that have been generated by a scanning application like a digital copier or a simple index uh, you either need to extract the images from the PDF in order to process those image p pages and do OCR or barcode recognition on them or you need to make sure this option is unchecked so that the PDF files are left in the native PDF format and instead you're splitting the PDF file into single page PDF files leaving the text intact. If this option is checked then you're extracting images from the PDF file and saving them out as TIFF image files so that they can be processed with OCR or barcode recognition. And so th this is a, a very fine distinction, but it's also very powerful too because it lets you process any kind of PDF file and it lets you leave either leave the text layer intact or process images from the PDF file. And the process is much faster as well because you're not converting the PDF file to an image, you're extracting the images from it. An important thing to note is that you must have the PDF X and Y resolution set correctly to the same resolution that the files were originally scanned in. 
So sometimes with fax documents, you'll have a resolution of, P of 200 by 100. And if you leave the, these settings at 200 by 200 instead, it will actually distort the image. Uh, if, if the original was 300 by 300 and you have 200 by 200, instead uh, what you'll get is um, the dimensions of the page will be off, but the page will look normal. So it's important to ha have the PDF X and Y resolution match the original scan document if you're extracting images from the PDF. So you have four different combinations with PDF files because you can, al you can also have the split multi-page input files checked or unchecked as well. And so if you have split multi-page input files unchecked and extract images checked, then it'll extract multi-page input files from a multi-page PDF file. If you have them both checked, it'll extract single-page image files from a multi-page PDF file. If you have this unchecked, then it'll create single-page PDF files and process those. And if you have them both unchecked, it'll process the multi-page PDF files without changing them. Your input file types here is just a comma-separated list of all the different file types you want to process with Simple Index. Generally, you're processing just whatever is in your input folder, and so you can leave this list as the default, and it'll grab all the major document types that Simple Index supports. If you want to make sure to grab all the files in the folder, you can just type star here, and that will input everything. The last input option in the advanced options here is the maximum files per batch. And if you're importing files from a folder, if you uh, have a whole lot of files in there, then you're probably going to want to limit your max files to a batch per batch to a maximum of 1,000. Uh, any batches larger than that, you can very easily run into memory errors and things like that because the whole batch has to be stored in memory uh, while it's processing. So um, typically over a thousand pages at a time you want to break it up into separate batches and if you have a very very large job and you want to automate the process you can schedule the process to run over and over again automatically and process a thousand pages at a time and we'll see that in a later class so this concludes Simple Index 106. We've gone over all the different options for how to import image and PDF files and the different ways to split those files or leave them intact.